Hallelujah. Pastor Ranja, tell us what has the Lord done. Jerome, this is Sister Ranjani here. Two weeks back, she came to this meeting with severe pain in her throat and she couldn't even swallow water. But we prayed for her and she says she's completely healed today. Thank she wants you, Lord. to give Thank glory. you, Father. Yes, thank you, Lord. Pastor, this is Lorraine. Three years ago, from an uh, accident that she had, she had to undergo and she had put a plaster. And once the plaster came out, for the last two years, from her knee to her ankle, she had a pain and she was very uncomfortable. It was like glass, broken glasses coming into her, her leg, she felt. But last Wednesday, while she was at the service, she felt like uh, when she was standing, she felt when she was praying. That like a, she says, like a ball that came out of her ankle, and she believed that God healed her because the pain left. But there is a little bit of numbness in her toes right now, and she believes that God has completely healed her. And last Wednesday, that it happened right after while at the service. After two years, after, after two, two years. years, Hallelujah! Let's give God praise. Yes, Raja, quickly. Pastor Jerome, this is Mrs. Perlin here. She had a fall on the 25th last month at a, in a home mm -hmm. and she started developing severe pain on her shoulders Thank and hands. And she started praying from home and she says that she's completely healed today. Thank you, she Father. Was. Give God praise. What has happened, Raju? Pastor, this is Sister Beverly. Um, the month of May, she met with a serious accident and due to the accident, she lost her job and this dear sister was praying, she was desperate and this 13th of July, they called for a job and this dear sister said, in the mighty name of Jesus, she got a job with double the salary in Jesus' name. happened? Pastor, this brother has been attending our Dehivala service as well and he has been coming for over a year to CNC. Um, he feels that because they were attending CNC faithfully that his wife noticed that he was getting very slow in his functions, you know, and uh, took him for a to the doctors to see he was having a brain hemorrhage. So he had to undergo um, surgery and he says he's totally recovered. But he puts it down to because of their attending CNC that the wife was more sensitive to his uh, disability and they sought doctors. Um, now advice. he has recovered. Now he has recovered totally. So he wants fine. to keep him here. Yeah, we rejoice. We are living in a day and age even after the operation people don't survive. Oh, we gosh. thank the Lord for his touch on this man. Raji, what has happened over here? Pastor, this uh, dear sister had a spinal uh, affliction and for four and a half years. And last uh, Wednesday she came and Pastor Jerome prayed. And today she glorifies to the glory of Jesus. 75% the pain has gone in Jesus' name. Samina. Adat kegal in the ladas. Hallelujah. Devi Anvahan Seva Vatar in me. Devi Anvahan Seva Vatar in me. Hallelujah. Samina. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, what has happened? Pastor Jerome, this is Mrs. Jean here. Auntie Jean, yes, what has the so Lord the done for her? For the last three years, uh, she has been uh, wearing a belt on, on, on her waist because she had a crooked spine. Yes. On the 2nd of July, when you call people, who were, who, 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 you asked for whoever walk, walking with AIDS, she came in front and we prayed over her and today she says from that day onwards she has removed the belt and she has and the plane is completely, completely gone she is walking after down. how many years pastor Raja? three years 
Three years. Pastor. Three years. Give the Lord three years of praise. Three years of praise and adoration in the house of God. Hallelujah. Pastor his sister Maria for one month she had this bad cough that she had gone to four doctors and four taken, doctors bad cough one month and it turned into like a wheeze because she was vomiting and it came to a wheeze last Wednesday she was here and she believed that God will touch her but the very next day when she went back it got worse and she still believed that God is will going to touch and heal her and she's standing here today to say that she has stopped the inhaler. There is everything completely healed and she wants to give glory to God. Pastor Raja, what has happened? Pastor Jerome, this is Sister Anne here. In last year, October, she lost her job. In December, she came for the meeting here and a word of knowledge was given saying that she will get a job in the, in the end of March. And she says, according to the word that is released, she has get a, got a better job with a better package. This little girl was sick, allergic to everything possible, rice, milk, name it. And they were coming to CNC from the time it was started at NDB. And you had given them a word saying there was a child that had a problem with all types of food. And they took it, they received it. And today she, after two and a half years, can eat any of those foods and she doesn't suffer any allergy. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise and adoration. Raji, what has, what has the Lord done for this gentleman? Pastor, this uh, dear brother was suffering from a severe stomach condition below the stomach area for three months. And he had consulted three doctors, he says, and yes. none of the doctors could diagnose what the condition was. Two weeks ago, he came for a Wednesday meeting and right. Pastor Jerome gave a prophecy and said to lay the hands in the stomach area. Today, the dear brother says, no medicine, the pain has completely gone in Jesus' name. Kushal. Pastor, this is Shehan. This is Chetana's husband. One year ago, you have given them a prophetic word because Chetana could not have any children because of a, the doctors have said that it's going to be difficult. And for the last five and a half years, they couldn't have any children. And the doctors have also said there's a condition that is making it difficult for them to have, uh, for Chetana to have uh, kids. But you gave a prophetic word last July and said by this time next year that you are going to have on a baby and he's here to say on the 7th of July, Chetana has delivered the baby girl and he will here to dedicate. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Congratulations. Bless you. How is she doing? She's okay. Very good. Thank you, Lord. What has happened, Roma? Pastor, this, uh, you had a personal word for this lady on the 1st of March at CNC. She was having much problems at home and her son was suffering from depression and oppression and lost his job and it was utter chaos. But they are here today to say, just as you said, in three months everything will be resolved. They are here to say that everything has settled and they, are, they couldn't be happier because all their problems have been resolved. After how long? Roma? After three months. You're exact. You said exactly three months uh, that everything will be restored. How long did you have? Thank you, Lord. Jesus is Lord. About Jesus six is. months they went through that Thank type you, of depression and oppression Thank in the you. house. Yep. They must continue to come for these meetings because there is still oppression in the home. Depression has left, but. They have 
to receive much more than what they have received. The house they are living in, the peace that they need, the losses that might come their way, everything by the precious blood of Jesus, it will come to a stop. But they must continue to be under the shadow of the Almighty God. So continue to come for these meetings and just continue to be blessed. The Lord will perfect everything He has started in your lives. Hallelujah. We rejoice. Raji, what has the Lord done for Pastor, this Angela? is uh, Sister Angela. Uh, for seven and a half years, she has Amen. not been speaking to her dad. This is a miracle of inner healing. Amen. And strangely, the father had spoken to one of her uncles and a, a desire was created in his heart to speak to this dear daughter. And she is doing an MBA and the father has come to finance the entire MBA program for the glory of Jesus. So after seven and a half years, the restoration has taken place between father and daughter. Yes, we rejoice and we thank the Lord. Pastor Raja, I noticed there's a testimony there. Uh, Pastor quickly. Jerome, this is Rochelle here. She has come all the way from Abu Dhabi. She says one and a month, one and a half months ago, she sent you a mail saying that her son's blood pressure has been continuously there for more than two years. Yeah, it's almost two years. And you have replied as saying, she, was, she has told you that she's coming to Sri Lanka. And you have replied saying that as you come and land in Sri Lanka, his pressure will be normal. And she stands here to testify and say, as they came here, and now is the fourth day, and her, the son's pressure is absolutely normal. And he wants to give glory. Glory be to God. Yes. Pastor Jerome, this is Nalin here. He says he had a pain on his left hand for the last four months and it was going up to his neck. Today when he came to this meeting also he had the pain. But when he asked to lay the hands upon the place where the pain is, he says the pain is completely gone. Hallelujah. Can you lift that hand now? You can lift that hand. Completely gone. You had it for four months, sir. Had it for four months. Thank you, Lord. Raji, you can tell me when you're ready. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Pastor, this is a doctor by profession. And he was having a severe knee pain for the last two months. And he was on painkillers. And today also he came to the auditorium with severe pain. But as pastor was ministering and when we were worshipping, now the doctor says the pain has completely gone in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. May it never return. Is it the right leg? Is it the right leg? Be healed never return into this body in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth keep your miracle thank you lord pastor jerome this is nilanta here nilanta used to testify that one and a half years back he was working for a good multinational company and as he was earning a lot and he was in a good position but he took a risk and left and started on his own but his company was not doing well then he started coming to our meetings and today he stands here and testify that his company is really doing well and he's, he's well off so he wants to give glory to God yes. the sister has been wearing uh, specs for the last 15 years she says and two weeks ago that she had failed to come out of it because she felt that her sides were getting healed. Even today as she walked in here, she had a problem of focus and even the screens were blurred. But immediately, 50% of it has gone. And she wants to come here and give glory to God that she believes that 100% will be okay. Come, come sister, come, come. Your testimony. Close your eyes. The mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Command your eyes to me. Stop now, in Jesus' name. Now, in Jesus' mighty name. Heal me. 
restored for the glory of God. Healed and restored for the glory of Jesus. Healed and restored for the glory of Jesus. Healed and restored for the glory of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Receive. Receive in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your love. Amen and amen. Thank you, God. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord. It's not blurred. And you can see it clearly. What time is it? 9-3. You can see clearly. Okay. Now, can I have the word uh, text? T-E-X. Uh, put it put on the screen quickly. My sister, come here. Come here soon. Can I have the word text? T-E-X. T-E-X. T-E-X is the name that I'm hearing the Lord give me regarding someone's company. You're, this is a part of the name of that company. I want you to quickly come to the altar. There's something regarding your company. And your company has this name on it. T-E-X. Text. Where is the term, please? Put it up soon. T-E-X. Just put it up if you can. Soon on the screen. Just tell me whether you can see it, sister. Thank you, Lord. Can you see the black screen? With no words. In Jesus' name, words appear. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, one moment. Can you read that for me, sister? No, go back to the previous one. Thank you. Go back to the previous slide. The previous one. Yeah, can you read that for me? It's King's Revival Church, Colombo. Okay. Father, I ask that every blurred vision be removed from these eyes. And I thank you for the miracle in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at it again, my sister. Thank you, Lord. Still blurred? Still blurred? Slightly blurred? Father, I ask right now, in Jesus' mighty name, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Be healed for the glory of God. Be healed and be restored in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. From today, you put your specs aside. Okay? You put your specs aside. Don't wear it again. When you come here next Wednesday, you'll be rejoicing. You'll stand in the same place and we will make the letters even smaller for you. In Jesus' name. He loves you. God bless you. There was a name that the Lord gave us last Wednesday where the person didn't respond. The name was Paul and the, the surname, I saw the letter M. Now, beloved, I got an email two days ago saying that that person was Michelle Paul. Now, if you are here today, please come running to this altar so that I can minister to you in Jesus' name. Don't miss those opportunities. Don't miss those moments. God knows where you are seated. He knows who you are. He knows where you have come from. He knows what your need is. He knows it all. Lift your hands to the King of glory. Lift your voice to your Savior. Lift your heart to the Lord of your life right now. And say, I'm ready to receive my miracle, Lord. I will testify of your greatness. I will testify of your love. I will testify of your mercy. I will testify of your power. I will testify of your grace. Yes. Pastor, this is the name you called out, Michelle Paul. Michelle Paul, come, come, daughter. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, I thank you for this girl's life. Kazi El Kratozo, Brandolo Shetelini, Makites El Bratos Adadi, Hasto, Raktos El Kibihesane. Father, I thank you for your grace, I thank you for your glory. The Lord tells me that He's moving mountains in front of you, child. He's moving the mountains that you have been dealing with for the last seven years. The Lord tells me that He's moving those mountains. In the next seven weeks, you are going to see the things that you saw will never be seen again. Just like the Red Sea and the enemies of Pharaoh, Moses said, what you see today, you will not see again. So I decree to you, daughter of Abraham, you will not see the brokenness in your home again. You will not see the devastation in relationships again. You will not see the failure in exams again. You will not see the disappointment again. You will not see the rejection again. 
again you will see the repairing and the rescuing restoring power and the arm of God in your family my daughter in Jesus name begin to be recover and be restored for his glory the Lord will bless you in this country don't prepare your passport to go overseas don't even know you know you have prepared now you there is an exam that you have to do there is a qualification that you must get for your life but the Lord tells me to tell you focus the next three years on living for him loving him and following him because all of this will distract you your exams will distract you your passport will distract you your certificate will distract you your family has distracted you for seven years nothing wrong with your blessed parents but because of the hurt that they went through you have been affected as a child and today the Lord tells me that many things in your past especially the seven years these mountains are removed out of your path in Jesus mighty name you are receiving this miracle today that anointing is upon you child victory is yours all barriers removed Jesus loves you Jesus loves you he'll do special things through your hands you will be turning into a writer like the Apostle Paul you will write the Lord has given you beautiful uh, letters to write he will use your fingers to write you will document things that the Lord alone will speak to you from today and your life will go higher and higher and higher in Jesus name none will be able to stop you in life for his glory amen and amen and you will begin to sing somehow I see you with our choir I see you on stage I see that you will be singing one day. The Lord is anointing you for that ministry. He loves you. Be blessed. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Amen.